Good morning. This is Peter Combs from Bitamount.com, and today is Monday, November 28th, 2016. This morning, we're going to look at a sale Christie's has coming up in Hong Kong on November 30th, just in two days. It's their second big ceramic sale of that day. We just did a video on their important Chinese ceramics. And this one is about the uh, Yang Di Tang collection. If you come to our site, you can go to the dealer and auction section. There's a copy of the catalog there. And uh, we also did a blog on it. And, uh, here it is under the, in the blog section of the site because we think this is a really exciting sale if you are interested in or collect or sell early Chinese ceramics, uh, late Tang through uh, the uh, Yuan period. This is the sale for you. Sale was formed by a Dr. Yang. Here's a cover of the catalog. And uh, here he is on the left with uh, the former uh, director of the National Palace Museum, Mr. Qin Xiaoyi. Uh, Dr. Yang uh, began collecting around 30 years ago and befriended a lot of very well-known people in the world of Asian ceramics and uh, was given access to, to learn uh, from some of the best collections in existence. And he had the wherewithal to put that, put that knowledge to work and built up a heck of a collection. And we're going to take a look at some of the items in, that he collected and is now selling. And we're going to start here with this. It's a beautiful U Celadon uh, carved uh, circular box with a gently incised decoration on the leaves. Nice color, beautiful looking box, five inches wide, um, estimated at 65 to 100,000. Uh, it's a nice example if you collect these. There's a number of these Celadons in the sale. Um, and we'll take a look at a few of them. And uh, in the in the auction also is this. This is one of one of the. I have two. I have two favorites in the sale. This is one of them, and the other one's coming up. But this is a beautifully done uh, molded uh, um, uh, Mandarin plate. Uh, there it is. And the, happily, Christie's is now also giving you the foot rims of these. Here's the write up on it. It's beautiful quality. These were done in the Jin Dynasty. Uh, has a nicely done applied copper rim. Very high quality molding on this. The molded decoration is top notch with this uh, cloud border running around the outside of it. Just a beautiful uh, object. Uh, estimated at 39 to 52,000. It's about five inches in diameter. These are never that really that big. Sometimes they get a little bigger, but not much. Um, Northern Jun Sung pieces tend to be small, as you know. But that's a nice piece. And then you have, uh, let's flip back a little bit here. There it is cue this one up. This is my favorite thing in the sale. It's a spectacular and large. It's nine inches wide, which is very big for one of these. Uh, purple splash Jun bowl uh, done during um, the Northern Song into the Jin Dynasty in that era. And it's the only known example. Uh, I saw it. I was struck because I'd never seen this shape before with this extra section added onto the rim. But the purple coloring is absolutely amazing. Uh, for this period, <clears throat> and just uh, the, the very best. It's estimated at 520 to 780,000, and he bought this in Taipei during the 1980s. Uh, he did a lot of his good buying then. And here's a picture of the base. There's the foot, nice shot of the foot for you to learn from, uh, what it should look like. And there's another shot of the side of the piece. And uh, I just love this. It's a great example. And uh, we'll see how that does. And next up is this Yu Zhao carved peony ewer. Beautifully done peony le peonies going all over this thing with this absolutely charming uh, fu uh, or lion uh, finial and this nice strapped handle worked into it. And there it is. These run, well, this one's about eight inches tall. Uh, it's in very good condition. It's got some exhibition history and it is estimated at 160 to 230,000. But beautiful example. And next up is another uh, Yu Zhao carved floral bowl with its original cover. You don't see these very often with their original covers. They're usually long gone. But this is uh, the original one. And uh, the carving on this is nice and deep. Notice how the celadon glaze pools up, turning very dark in certain areas. Really adds to the impact of the piece. And the artwork is nicely done, very loose, very easy going, uh, done by a very skilled artist. Estimated at 78 to 190,000. It's a pretty big range, Christie's threw on this one. But a uh, nice example, about five inches wide. Uh, beautiful quality. And lot 3126. 
This is a carved black glazed bird and flower vase. You've seen these before. Uh, this one is particularly fine, though, in the work. The black is uh, elegantly done. The, the, the artwork is beautifully done. No, and there aren't any drips running into the white areas that you often see on these items. They, they sort of get messed up either during the making or during the firing. And this one came out of it very well. There's a mo couple of minor little imperfections down in the lower portion, but it doesn't really impact the piece much. Um, and uh, made during the Yuan Dynasty. Uh, it's in the estimate is 78 to 110,000. It's 10 inches tall. Nice, nice round form. Uh, and this style is sort of a holdover from the earlier, you know, from the Northern Song and Jin periods. But beautifully done. Beautiful. And now we have here the cover lot. Now this is interesting. It struck me when I was looking at this is that on our homepage we have a very early photograph that was taken from a book on art. And there is one of these vases. Um, so I, I, I've always liked them. And uh, let's get back over. There it is, these garlic neck vases. The form, of course, originated in the Han Dynasty. Uh, they were done originally in bronzes. And, um, and here they, yeah, here it is. They explain a bit on the history. And they show some other examples. Here's a similar, but not a garlic neck. This is a Yu Hu Chu Ping, um, but from the same general era. And here are the vases that are being offered. They're 10 inches tall. He also bought these in Taipei uh, in the 1980s. And notice the very distinct looting lines on the piece. There's section one, section two, and section three. Nice iron uh, splotches on them. There's some beautiful, there's very thick glaze on these. So the, these Long Quan vases are very thickly glazed. And uh, so you end up with some cracks in them from the firing, from the contraction. You want to see that. Here's a good shot of the feet. Of, of each piece and what you want to look for. And uh, we're going to pop that up a little bit. There they are. That's how these feet look. They do fake them, though. But I've never seen a fake of this, of, of like a pair of these. Pairs of vases from, from the Yuan period are exceedingly rare. Uh, they didn't make things in pairs very often in China uh, for another couple of hundred years. Uh, they did on occasion, but it wasn't, a, it wasn't typical. It wasn't part of how they thought of things. All right, and that's just a, a really nice example. All right, and the last thing we're going to look at, the last section is we're going to go through and look at some of the Qing Bai. Uh, the, the, those of you who like Qing Bai and, and hairs for bowls, this is a good sale. Uh, the, this is uh, probably the I think the best Qing Bai piece in the in this on offer here. Uh, beautiful dragon handle, a nice pear shaped body. You're all familiar with with a spout. And uh, this uh, fitted brace on top. There is a firing line in the in the cover, which is not unusual. But the cover is beautifully made, beautifully shaped with this foo line sitting on top. They call these rabbit ewers. It is 12 inches tall and estimated at 130 to 160 thousand. And when we flip ahead here, you're going to see a lot of other Qing Bai. It's a very fine Qing Bai uh, Southern Sung uh, pillow. Um, and uh, some cosmetic boxes, another dish, Mei Ping vases. He's, he's got it all. Um, there's another Mei Ping. All right, this is a beautifully done bowl. Nice shot of the foot. People are often getting disputes about what the foot of these should look like, the bowls and sometimes the vases. That's how they should look. And then after that section goes by, you're into the uh, hair's fur and russet bowls. Very good selection of them. They're all very fine quality. So uh, I suggest if you're interested in these things, go over and have a look at our site or go to Christie's site. Um, the catalogs, we, we leave up long after Christie's uh, sale ends um, because we know people like to look at them for reference, and they're on, our, on the dealer auctioneer page. All right. Thanks for visiting, and uh, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and we'll... Uh, update and put uh, videos up at probably at least once a week and we have quite a few up already probably 35 or so maybe 40 by the time you hear this there might be 100 i don't know but and then subscribe to our newsletter we do a weekly newsletter right here every week um, for things that are being sold and uh, whatnot and uh, we hope you uh, spend some time with us all right thanks a lot for visiting and uh, have a really nice week thank you bye bye